Good morning, Little Springs. I'm Kay Roberts. And I'm Audrey So. Our fifth graders had a great day observing our fine arts here at Willow Springs. And today is the last day to order a yearbook. Don't be left out. Just what is it with the Stanley Cup phenomenon? Social media influencers made this cup quencher all the rage for middle schoolers. We take a look. Stay tuned for part three of our interview with LISD Board Secretary Jeff Wood. There's a new interactive movement game in the library. We explore Active Floor. Our basketball teams take on Alan Curtis and we are getting closer to the Super Bowl. All this and more coming up on WSMS News. Welcome back. This is Willow Springs News. Well, we lucked out again and avoided another day off from school. We've got great news in the weather next week. After a week of a good cold soaking, I see sunshine ahead and 60s. That's right. Next week will consist of sunshine and light showers with it warming up to the lower 60s near the end of the week. This week's rain could carry over into tomorrow and possibly Sunday. After that, we should have clear skies until next weekend. Monday will be the sunniest day of the week with minimal wind. It's the first time we've had normal weather in a long time, so get outside and enjoy it while it lasts. Now, that's about it for the local weather, and let's take a look nationally. We're not the only ones experiencing a drastic change in temperature. The entire nation is beginning to thaw out from the snowy freeze. The polar winds are dissipating into the southern coastline, and warm air masses are taking their place. This is a blessing for most, but for people who live in tropical environments, it's a bit of a different story. San Diego and its surrounding cities were recently hit with a surge of mass flooding. The change in air pressure caused heavy rain. The San Diego River rose over six feet in less than 12 hours, causing one of the worst California floods in recent history. In the Gulf Coast, the dry polar air clashes with the warm ocean air and creates a flurry of storm clouds. Severe rain hits cities ranging from Corpus Christi to Nashville to Tampa. Louisiana is in the heat of it with lightning striking New Orleans and Baton Rouge. Possible tropical storms threaten the entire Gulf Coast, but as of right now, no cyclones have formed. Let's hope it stays that way. That's all for your weekly weather, and remember to get outside and enjoy the sunshine. Thanks, Roman. And now for our top story. The giant Stanley tumblers you see all over social media are flying off shelves, with some people even camping out overnight to snag the new quencher water bottles. But why? The recently released exclusive Valentine's versions of Stanley reusable water bottles are causing commotion in Target stores. The cup sold out immediately in most locations and it will not be restocked. The cup will only be available for sale while supplies last. We decided to take it to WSMS students. I like Stanley's because they're really cute and it keeps your water cold or hot for a really long time. How about the spilling issue? I don't really like how they spill a lot because once I was at a dance competition and it spilled all over my costumes. Middle schoolers all over America are enraged for a Stanley, and some moms are taking it to TikTok to report how their child is being made fun of if they have an offbeat brand, or a newfound popularity if they have one. And people are even fighting over the cups. Here are Target shoppers desperate to get their hands on the limited edition Valentine's Day Stanley Cup. It's called the Quincher H2O Flow State Tumbler. These exclusive cups come in Cosmo Pink and Target Red. These are part of the store's Valentine's Day collection. The hashtag Stanley Cup tag now has 7.2 billion views worldwide. Will it make it to 8 billion? Only time will tell. And it's gotten so bad that a woman in California was arrested for allegedly stealing 65 Stanleys worth $2,500. For WSMS News, this is Molly Gold and Aaliyah Dresser reporting. I wonder what the next craze will be. Do you have a Stanley? Yeah, I do. Do you have a Stanley? Yeah. How many do you have? I have nine. How many do you have? Four. Speaking of hydrated, it was a busy weekend with the NFL, and these players have to stay extra hydrated. And a famous soccer player comes to Dallas. And Sports Illustrated is soon to be no more. The iconic sports magazine that's been around for decades announces it's laying off its entire staff. For those stories and more, here's WSMS Sports. <laughs> 